it trended nationally in Canada. Hmm. The, the hashtag, you know, ES, uh, ECSD. ECSD. And if you think about that, I think that's probably the first time <laughs> a local Catholic school board meeting has has been an in, has been a national Twitter trend. It was quite the moment. Yeah, you were watching on Twitter. Paula. I, I was did, watching on Twitter and 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 watched uh, and watched the archived material afterwards. Did you did you get a sense of what Alex is saying that there was sort of a it, did you get more of an extreme sense from it, or did you get a sense that uh, what Alex described that there was sort of a, a lone wolf there plus well, attempts no, to, yeah, to come? I think a bit of that, but of course what you see on Twitter is that self-selected stream of people who are the most engaged and the most angry. Yeah. And what I saw on Twitter were people uh, who I think are misunderstanding how messy democracy is. I saw people saying, you know, David Egan, the education minister, he should have been there observing that meeting. He should fire them all now. He should disband the board now. He should step in and do something right now. And I, I understand why, if you're passionate about this subject, that seems like a good idea. But I think we have to think about parliamentary precedent. And do we actually want ministers sitting in on autonomous elected boards and, you know, monitoring what they do? I'm sure that David Egan, if he wasn't watching live, watched the uh, archived stream afterwards, as I did. Um, certainly the next day, he announced that he was assigning a special consultant to the Catholic Board to help them with their governance issues. Yeah. But I think the people who are calling for Egan to come in right now and wield the hammer are not understanding how important it is to Egan politically that he let this play out. If he's going to step in and and play the heavy here, it has to be because the board has left him no alternative. If he jumps in and does something now to, to expedite things, I, I think he stomps on the integrity of a board which was elected by the, you know, the voters of Edmonton. He has to at least give them the chance to try to do this. Hi, Jesus.